Hello friends, it's Bea, and today we're gonna be going through my MAC lipstick collection. I'll be running you through every shade that I own and sharing my thoughts on each one. Hopefully this helps you out in case you've been thinking about purchasing one of these shades, or if you have a similar skin tone and you want to see it on someone else for reference. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see more then just keep on watching. So the first shade I own is Angel, and on the MAC website it's described as a soft pink with a frost finish. MAC has a lot of different finishes for their lipsticks, and frosts are more pearlized so they have a lot of shine, and some of them have shimmer, but Angel doesn't have any of that. It's actually one of their best selling shades, which is the reason why I bought it, but personally, it's not my favorite. I think this kind of pale, cool toned pink washes me out, but if you have a fairer skin tone than mine, then this might work for you. The next shade I own is Please Me. It's a muted rosy pink with a matte finish. Max matte lipsticks are some of my favorites. They're creamy without being too slick or shiny, and they're matte enough that they don't skip on your lips when you apply them. I have no issues with the formula, but like I said, I'm not a big fan of very pink lipsticks at the moment. However, if you love pink, then I suggest that you give this one a try. The next shade is one of my absolute favorites, not just within my MAC collection, but among all the lipsticks I own. This one is Brave and it is a satin finish. I love the satin finish lipsticks, they're probably my favorite finish that MAC does. It's like a mix of matte and cream, it's comfortable and it stays put but it has this beautiful sheen. This was the first MAC lipstick that I ever bought and it's I've gone through an entire tube of it guys. This one that I'm holding up is actually a repurchase. This is my perfect My Lips But Better pinky nude. The next shade is Velvet Teddy and it is a deep toned beige and a matte finish. This is also a very popular shade and for good reason because it's a gorgeous brownie nude. It's really flattering on a lot of skin tones and I love this shade for every day or paired with a bolder eye and it's such a wearable shade for me and as you can see, I've used up quite a bit of it so I will definitely repurchase when it runs out. The next shade I own is the newest addition to my collection and it's Whirl, another extremely popular shade. It's described on the website as a dirty rose and it's a matte with a quite deep warm brown undertone and to be honest I think it's like a borderline poopy brown but I think it's very wearable despite that and I love it a lot. If you're looking for a grungy 90s lippy then I suggest you pick this one up. I don't think I'll be finishing this one up anytime soon because it's really really pigmented. Just so you know each MAC lipstick retails for 1000 pesos and contains 3 grams or 0.1 ounces of product. Next we have Taupe which is a muted reddish brown also in a matte finish. This is one of my newer shades as well and I'll be honest, I haven't worn this one a ton but I love it so much. On me, it comes off as a warm, darker, brownie nude and I'm really into shades like this at the moment. I know I've got a couple of friends who are more tan than I am and have this as their perfect nude so if you're a beautiful morena girl, definitely check this one out. The next shade I have is Crosswires and it's described as a pinky orange and a cream sheen finish. Cream sheens have a lot of shine and you guessed it, are very creamy. They're like your regular cream finish lipstick, very smooth, not drying, doesn't settle into the fine lines of your lips, just an overall good formula. My Crosswires melted in the car, that's why it looks really gank, but I love wearing this in the summer when I want a more wearable orange. And woo, grabbing ubuko guys, yes! <laughs> This is a very unique shade in my collection. I don't have anything like it and I've yet to find anything like it. But if you guys are interested in a MAC lipstick dupe video, then just leave a comment down below. Next, we have one of my favorite reds of all time, Lady Danger. It is a vivid, bright, hot red orange in a matte finish and I am totally in love with it. I love colors like this on me. I think it's very flat. It's very flattering on my skin tone. This is also a really great summery red and really any occasion kind of red if you're looking for that bold in your face statement lip. This paired with a simple eye look and like fluttery lashes and like bronzy skin looks really great. Okay, next up we have one of the most popular matte lipsticks ever. This is Ruby Woo, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of it. This is a vivid blue red and a retro matte finish, meaning it's extremely matte with absolutely zero shine. 
I'll be honest, this one is kind of a pain to put on because it is so matte. Like, super, super, super matte. So, I'm not too crazy about that. But once it's on, it's not going anywhere and the color is absolutely beautiful. This is the one red that I think will flatter a lot of skin tones and will work for any look. I get so many compliments whenever I wear this lipstick. So, if you're looking for that classic no-fail red, maybe try this one. And lastly, we have Russian Red, also a cult favorite. This is described as an intense bluish red in the regular matte finish, but I find that this is more neutral than Ruby Woo, and it's a little bit darker. So for me, it's a little bit more wearable because it's not as jarring and in-your-face as Lady Danger or Ruby Woo. I still love this shade a lot though. It's very long-wearing, very opaque when it goes on, and it's comfortable to wear. I know Ruby Woo and Russian Red get compared a lot, but if you ask me, I prefer Russian Red. I think it just suits me more. So there you have it, my MAC lipstick collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite MAC lipstick is. I would love to hear your recommendations. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!